oh this week has been a very weird week we are already on thursday um so not much has really happened this week i went out for lunch with my sisters i didn't film any of that um on tuesday yesterday was a really quiet day stayed at home with the kids got ourselves right i worked out and then i had to have a nap like i don't i really need to understand this like how do people work out in the morning and then stay awake the whole day because when i work out for some reason i can't stay awake and i need to have a nap um little baby a boy was also decided that sleep was not his friend yesterday and he didn't sleep until like four o'clock and he was being really clingy so i barely got anything done yesterday um so yesterday was a write-off today we've got some errands to run it is my best friend's daughter's birthday today and um, I want to go and pick up her gift because uh, we'll see them on Saturday. Oh, hard life is it, sir? Mm. Um, yes, so we are going to run into town. I'm gonna go run some errands, pick up the gifts. I've got a boot order to pick up. I've got some shoes to return um, for Nova that don't fit her, that she needs for school. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. I'm going to take you along with us. I might, if I can, might take the kids for some lunch somewhere. Um, otherwise, maybe I'll just get something and we'll come back here. Um, but yeah, that's what we're up to today. Tomorrow's a quiet day and then the weekend, obviously. In the UK, it's bank holiday weekend. So Monday, everybody else is off from work. So that'll be good. And yeah, so I'll keep you updated throughout the day. So we've just finished all, we've done all our chores. We've done really, really well. Look at you. All right, so we have, we've completed all our chores today, done run all our errands, picked up everything. I took Nova for some quick lunch. We went and had some sausage and chips, sat down. That was really nice. So now going home, need to go and wrap presents and sort the everything out for the rest of the day. Oh my God. Hey guys. So we are it's the end of the day um i've had such a tired day look at my face i'm so tired that i'm ready to just um end the day now so i thought i would actually show you before i go what i got from my boots order so first of all i want to show you this product this is the tresemme um moisture rich luxurious moisture so i didn't actually know that tresemme was black girl friendly um, I've checked the ingredients, there's no parabens, there's no sulfates in this and I've got really really dry hair and I saw this on Instagram, um, actually a page that um, caters to um, natural hair and they actually recommended this and this size is actually it's £5 uh, but currently Boots have got an offer on which is two for £5 so I don't know how much longer it's going to um, be available but go check out Boots and get yourself this. I haven't tried it yet so I haven't washed my hair um but i've got really dry hair and so has nova so i'm hoping that this is going to help bring some moisture back because it's all about moisture locks in moisture for all day hydration for dry damaged hair so i'm hoping that this is going to help us both get like moisturized hair because you can even you can see like it's the end of the day and my hair is just totally dry um, I also picked up this another thing from Tresemme, which they also the same page. I can't remember. I can't, Tre Tre I can't remember what it's called, but um, I will um, have a look on Instagram and I'll link it below. Um, th this is their keratin smooth with marula oil. This is their shine oil. So I'm hoping this is also going to help our um, our dry hair to be shiny. It helps to maintain. Um, Tame flyaways, gives it hair a soft feel, perfect detangles, control, silky shine. Um, so up to 72 hours. So I'm going to try this out and hopefully that this will help our hair. So I picked up two of each of these because this is also half price. So it's normally like £8 and it's currently on sale for like £3.94. So that's how much I got that for. And because I... I've got a problem, yeah. So when it comes to delivery charges, I hate to pay delivery charges. So with Boots, I don't mind going to the store to go collect it, but you have to spend over a certain amount of money to get 
free collection because again i'm not paying four pounds for me to go to the pleasure of walking to the place and going to get it um so i needed to order something else to get my free collection because I, all i wanted was these um shine oils oils and i wish i knew about the shine oils before because i would have ordered them the last time when i'd ordered the shampoo sorry the conditioner and then i would have got it all free and would have had to buy anything extra but anyways i wanted this um stunner lip paint from fenty for ages this is uncuffed i don't know if i actually even got the right shade because when i opened it earlier it's like that light pinky color but what i was looking for was like more of like a caramel type but i think um i think even i don't know, let me come back out you see it's kind of like got some it's like mauve kind of that's what it's like but i'm hoping that with nice like a nice brown lip liner like the glory um from revolution i'm hoping with that paired with that that this will um go down well but i like um fenty products so i know i'm going to use this anyways and i've got the other i've got another one of her colors um as well so we'll just add that to the collection um so i'm gonna sign off here i'm gonna go wash my face um, the kids, well, one of the kids are in bed, just wait, the baby is getting tired, um, so they are all ready for the evening, I'm ready to just chill out, I've already poured myself an alcoholic beverage, and I am going to go and chill, um, but yeah, that's all I'm really going to be doing tonight, I'm not going to be doing anything extra, so I thought I would come say hey, switch off, close out today, and yeah, see you guys, bye bye oh good morning guys so i'm just getting ready because taking the kids to my niece's little birthday party she turned one the other day um so my friend is having a little get together for her um so we're getting ready and just woken up to some really sad news that Chadwick Boseman, Mr. Wakanda himself, has passed away after battling four years of cancer. And to me, it just sounds absolutely mad. Like 2020 is like a, like it's a crazy year, it's a crazy time. And just imagine, like, this guy was going through all of this and still producing great movies like how do you how do you even do that and every day you get out of bed and you go and you make these movies for other people's joy and it's just to me it's just it is 2020 is mad right it's been an absolute mixed bag. Like for me personally, it's been a good year because obviously I had my baby and everything and my little girl's going to school. <sighs> now, when you think about it, like, let me tell you a story. When I used to work in retail, um, I had to sit in and do this um, disciplinary with this boy because he hadn't shown up for work. And um, so I was sat in, I was doing the minutes for it and the manager was going through everything. <laughs> and the boy's reasoning as to why he didn't turn up for his shift the day before was because it was raining. Imagine, <laughs> imagine he said with his whole chest, yeah, that he didn't come into work, yeah, because it was raining. Like, and, oh, I remember being in that meeting and being like so annoyed that that's the what the mat what's that's what the guy's um reasoning was for not coming into work and i remember i was really annoyed and i remember just like the manager asking me if i wanted to add anything to the meeting and i just rem remember just like being like seriously do you really think that, that is a good idea that is your that is your actual reason that is what we're going to write down on this bit of paper that's what you want to go down down with down fighting for do he just didn't care and to be fair that's that's his prerogative but then to see that this that Ch 
um, Chadwick was actually going through weekly chemo. He was sick, he had cancer, and he was still coming in. Look at the fight scenes. He was going through chemo. And when you just like, you put it into perspective, you're just like, how, I just, I can't comprehend how he was doing it. And hats off to him, because he's created a legacy that no one is gonna forget. And yeah, but yeah, my condolences goes out to his wife. I just, yeah, no what, there's just no words and He's created a legacy, nobody's gonna forget it. And he brought King T'Challa to life. He made nine movies in four years, um, fighting stage four, three and four colon cancer. Um, and sometimes I just wanna stay in bed because I'm tired and yeah. And do you know what? I can't like see it like that. Like I shouldn't see it like that. But man's work ethic was 10 10 so yeah on to today on to today i'm gonna try i don't want to be sad because you only turn one once and it should be celebrated so the kids are going to have like a trampoline but it is really miserable um in the uk right now it was raining earlier it's actually not raining now but hey things could change it always does um but yeah i'm going to stay at my mum's tonight which is going to be nice so i'm just i want to wear my ponytail today um i really like haven't worn it for a few weeks but i've been watching some youtube videos on how to like really sleek my hair Sorry, I was just looking in the, the camera, so it looks like my eyes are all crazy. Um, but yeah, so I really want to wear my ponytail today. So I'm really just trying to get like everything like locked and loaded. So I, I'm gonna try this Tresemme thing that I told you guys that I got the other day. Um, we'll see how that goes. So I think I'm gonna do it on my hand. I'm going to... I've still got my got to be free spray to put on. I got a little small one of it. Um, and I, I can't even remember why I bought it and what I was using it for. Because I haven't worn one of these kind of ponytails before. So I'm trying to work out kind of what I was using it for. But anyways, this yesterday was a write-off. So this is actually Saturday, not Friday. So yesterday I didn't, I literally, we didn't do anything. Um, yeah, I just chilled most of the day. I like having a good chill day. Sometimes you just need those days. And I knew that today, not today, I knew that the weekend was gonna be busy for us. So I didn't, I wanted to have one of those days because Monday's gonna be one of those days that I take for myself as well. Um, so yeah, I will just be chillaxing. I swear, my um, little girl is scared of everything. So excuse the mini break whilst I sort her out. Anyways, what was I talking about? I don't even know what I was talking about, but I'm guessing I was talking about getting my, the ponytail slick. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and get it really, really um, slick today. Like, I really just wanna get it alone. But I've got really bad flyaway bits, like right at, like, I don't do like baby hairs. I don't slick baby hairs down or anything like that because I just can. And also, the joys of um, having a baby is that your hair falls out as well. That's one of the things that happens to me, and that has happened to me. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but like my front of my hair is it's thin, anyways, but it's much thinner. And with my first pregnancy after i had the baby um my i had braids in 
and um literally i'll see if i can find the pictures but literally the whole front i had this big massive bold spot here uh -huh. and yeah my hair fell out really really badly um i do find that when i detangle my hair and stuff the a lot of hair is coming out so i do know that i am having the lovely uh postpartum shedding as it's called um but yeah it's just the joys of having a kid not only do you get to birth the, the pleasure of birthing the kid you also get the pleasure of mad things happening to your body um and they tell you to embrace it sometimes you don't want to embrace it sometimes you want to be upset because your hair's falling out um so what I did last time is I just, I brought a ton of um, bandanas and I used to just wear a different colour bandana over the front bit because it was really, like when I tell you it was bold, it was like here especially and on the sides, bold. Like I was a bold. So yeah, that, that just isn't it. So I just want to get this like nice and slick. I'm not going to do it too high. I did it a few weeks ago and I think I did it too high. So I want to bring it like down a little bit. Okay. How weird is that? Like my daughter's iPad has literally just gone off and started talking. I say these things, they're def definitely 100%. They're listening. We are listening because what do I need? What did I, what did I say that would have activated animal sounds? Please. I hope this is getting real slick. I'm just using more products than I did last time as well, just trying to get that extra bit of hold. And then I'm gonna tie it down so that it stays, <laughs> so that it lays and then I can do my makeup and everything and get ready. What is this? I don't know, I don't know what is in there tormenting her, but yeah. This is this. I said this part is going to be a whole hot mess because obviously we've got crazy Nova running around after I don't know what animal is frightening her, but we'll we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out in a minute. All right, I think this is the best I'm going to get it all slicked down. So I'm going to just well done. Let's look at that part. I think what I'm going to do is just tie it down. It's, my hair is just, I think it's just too fluffy for this. Like, like, look at all of this. It's just, I just guess it doesn't matter how much gel and stuff I use. But this is only my second time doing it. I know I will get better at it. I will get there. So it's quite slick. All right, I'm gonna get my my little wrap. All right, so I'm gonna leave that on. Put my makeup on, um, and then I'll probably take this off just before I leave as well. Okay, let's get ready for the day. So all ready to go, ponytail is in, looking really nice. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit close up, but I just wanted to show today's fit. So I've got this, no, this jumper on, real nice, real cute. And then these like nice tailored trousers, and then I just popped my, my Jordans on to keep it cash. Excuse that dirty mirror. So I'm liking what I'm wearing. I wanna show you guys my makeup and my hair i'm going to show you guys close up so this is the final look 
ponytail is it actually looks really really good makeup came out really nice and guess what i'm wearing lashes Ooh, put lashes on today nice subtle lashes i'm loving my lip combo this is my lip combo fenty stunner paint with sheer brilliant revolution and also with the revolution glory lip liner and yeah face came out good pony actually looks really really good bless you darling came out really really nice and yeah more I go bye bye